I got shooters on go as say we got strong. Uh, Grave Digger or Grave Digger 3300, uh, Richmond, California. When did you start making music? I started making music officially and uh, I could say uh, seriously, maybe about six months ago, seven months ago. Okay. Uh, how many songs do you have out? Uh, currently, right now, I have about eight songs. I have about maybe about four solos and one EP with uh, Young SG. <laughs> And uh, tell us more about the EP with SG. Uh, the EP with SG, which is, um, it was just all of a sudden. Uh, we was at the studio. We were doing, a, I think we were just doing a song. And then we said, fuck it. Uh, we were going to make an EP because the next day we was going to perform in uh, Reno. Yeah, we were going to open up for Lil Maru. When was the first time you went into the studio? About first time? Shit. I could say probably, fuck, maybe in January, the beginning beginning of this year. And what was your first song that you released? Uh, bouncing Out, Bouncing Out on Broadway. That was my first song, that's where it all started. The video was just, I, <laughs> I did the video in, uh, in the iBlock, so that shit came all right. Yeah, I I was kind of iffy about it because when I first uh, put out my music, I did like a little freestyle on Instagram and then uh, it kind of did a little number. So when I did, I did my first, my first, uh, my first song at the studio, that shit was, that shit was cool and, and everybody was rocking with it. So I didn't, I honestly didn't think it would blow up like how it did. I mean, it didn't blow up, but it got me where I am right now. Yeah, I always, I, I loved music. Maybe when I was like eight years old, my mom used to always play uh, the Chronic album. That was my, my thing. And I always try to um, memorize all the songs before I can spit it. So I was like, man, I just am fascinated with the music. Who is one of your favorite artists coming up? Ooh, that's hard. <coughs> I could say, um, my favorite young boy, NBA young boy. Uh, I lived in various places everywhere. So I was bouncing from house to house, from city to city. That shit was, uh, it was hard to uh, adapt to, I guess. As soon as I get comfortable, I would have to move. You know, parents uh, were were divorced, so they they moved separate separate places. So we would always go to LA, and we would always uh, be in the Bay Area. So that's why I would uh, always be in the Bay Area. Your first songs were you in the Bay Area or in LA? My first songs, I did. It was in the Bay Area. My first songs, yeah. What uh, features you have out right now? <coughs> right now, out. I have probably, uh, shit, I have a couple, I mean, major features. Uh, I have unreleased. Uh, I have uh, Brick Wolfpack. I have uh, Lil Nate. I have uh, Sucker Free that's going to come out. Um, I, have a quite, I have quite a few. You want any uh, songs that you want to Label or are you independent artist? No, I'm in the I'm in the label right now. I'm, I'm in uh, Mala Records right now. Yeah, Chito co-signed me. So, how did that come out? How did you meet Chito? Uh, like I said from uh, earlier, uh, I had did a little freestyle. <coughs> I did a little freestyle, and I guess uh, a couple people had sent sent that uh send that freestyle to him and he reached out to me and uh, he ended up hitting me up and he told me if, if I wanted to be from Mala Records and I told him that uh, 
we would have to talk. So once he he got released, we ended up making it official. Oh yeah, now he he right there. He opening doors for us. You know, he opening doors. He's uh, you know, he's showing a lot of love for us. You know what I mean? Trying to make it happen. Oh, it's hot right now. It's hot. You know what I mean? Right now, uh, we we are finally getting noticed in a, in, a, in a great way instead of, you know, the old school way, which I'm not, I have nothing against it. But right now, I feel like we have a good image right now. You know what I mean? And, you know, we're trying to make it mainstream, like mainstream. Talking about mainstream, uh, Tito Ronas just signed a mainstream deal. How do you feel about everything that's going on? <clears throat> Honestly, everything's going well. You know, uh, unfortunately, he is he's he's down right now and and you know free to fraud, but he's gonna he's gonna be out very soon, and uh, you know he's gonna show y'all a little you know the potential we got, especially on being mainstream. You know, what up and coming projects you got coming? Yeah, I got a project called uh, Grave Talk. You know, I'm trying to finish it. Uh, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I'm just waiting on the features and just to complete my album. So, yeah, it's going to come out very soon. It should be releasing in on Halloween. Stay tuned for real. Man, from the feds, man, from the feds, had this one partner, man. He was uh, he was from Chirac, so he would always tell me like, man, you like my little partner, man. This little partner he had over there in Chirac, digger, great digger, great digger. So you know what I mean? It ended up being being a thing for me. So I ended up adapting to it. So I said, fuck it, come on. So I I ran it. Kept it. Oh, which one? God damn it! Shit, my first one. My first one was was rough. It was my first. It was my first prison term. God damn, that's you know the first one is always gonna be the fucked up one. You know what I mean? I you know that shit was fucked up, but the second one was a little bit more relaxed. I went to the feds. You know. You know, focus on myself, worked out, did my thing, and got out. It was cool. Were you writing any type of music in there at that time or no? Yeah, so the first the first prison term I, I didn't write nothing. But uh the second time I ended up writing some shit and that shit ended up being cool. So when I ended up going to the hole, um a lot of people ended up telling me, hey, spit that shit, spit that shit, spit that shit. So I would spit that shit and everybody would like memorize my music. So that gave me motivation to really write some more. And I ended up deciding like, this is what I was going to do. And that's what I'm going to do, motherfucker. Man, this shit is many. It's a lot more than what you think. A lot more than what you think. It ain't. <laughs> it ain't what you think, man. Cause you gotta be very careful who you hang around with, who you kick it with. Cause it's ugly. It's ugly. Man, it's it's not so bad. People be thinking it's crazy, cause. You know, it's Northern California. But to be honest with you, it's just just a different city. That's all it is. You just got to act, you know, professional. Conduct yourself with respect. You'll get far. That's it. We doing good out there. <laughs> I think we do get a lot of hatred from different races. Uh... For whatever reason, I don't know why it is, but you know, we was we was hated for a long time. But now 
you know, we making a way for this motherfucker. So, you know, we 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 got a lot of people supporting the movement. Most definitely. A lot of artists out there. Uh, one of them out there in the Bay Area is Bay Recon. Uh, we have uh, Colt Gunner. You know what I mean? We have uh, a little bit more up north. We have the Double A's. You know, we got Deuce Fall, Cold Boy. We have Lil Bud. You know what I'm saying? We got Snoops. You know, we have a lot of people. You know what I mean? If I didn't mention you, I'm sorry, but you know what I mean? That's just what came out of the top of my head. But yeah, we have a lot of them. And how is it working with OTA, Deuce Fall, and Lil Bud? Fun. <laughs> they wow, wow, especially little bug. He be trying to fight to get inside that motherfucking studio. He don't give a fuck. And dude's fall, yeah, he be he get in this he get in this mood. He be loud. <laughs> yeah, be wild. Do you guys have anything in the upcomings? Oh yeah, we have a uh, we got a little uh, upcoming little Mala compilation coming out. You know, uh, be on the lookout. I don't know what the release date is on that. But, uh, you know, we, we going to come out hot with this Mala shit. You know what I mean? Oh, man. Uh, my first tattoo. And my dad's going to fucking flip out on me right now. But it was that I was 14. But I had got my back tatted. It was my hood. I got a big B.E. on my back, you know what I mean? That was my first tattoo, and ever since then, I couldn't stop. <laughs> uh, I want to see what's up with uh, Awful Lot of Cough Syrup. Like, I want to see what's up with that brand. Um, I definitely want to see what's going on with Trash Bag Boys. I want to see what's up with them. Holla at me, bro. Holla at me, bro. DM me is good. Besides that, you know what I mean? All the all, all the brands I got, you know, it's been actually official. Well, I basically want to... I want to start investigating what's up with a tour. I want to... Trying to travel... I want to go to different uh, states of the United States. I want to see if I can do some shows. I want to go back to Reno, basically do a show out there. You know, uh, maybe one in the Bay Area. I'm just trying to find, hit me up, any promoters that need it. You know what I mean? Need me to go on slide through, I'm a slide. Back in love? Yeah, I get a lot of love from Washington. Colorado, South Carolina. I get love from, uh, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker want to hear what I got to say. Uh. Nah, but uh, New York. I got people hitting me up from New York, Texas, Arizona. Yeah, Utah. For anyone you want to uh, shout out? Uh, I want to shout out to my manager, you know, Big Z brand, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Slabs, Free Cheeto, Free the Mala niggas, you feel me? You know, shout out to Bay Recon, shout out to Bad Example, what's up, P? Besides that, you know what I mean? We out here, man. So I'm checking out right now, man. So if you just follow me on Instagram, Grave Digger 3300. Y'all want to check out some good brands, good clothing line. You know, tap in. You know, we got. You know, you want to go. You know, get that Z. Hit that 350Z. Get what I'm saying? CJ underscore. You know, we still. You know, we. You know, you know, you know we fucking around right here. You know what I'm saying? We fuck around right here. Let that motherfucking shooters all go. You better tap in. Tap in.
tap in. Got that shooter zone go. You no, know, definitely hit the Mala merch. You know, we got that digger. We got that digger brand coming. You know, our website is right now is 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 down right now, but it's it's currently in the works right now. So just tap in on that.